Hey guys, it's Christina. Um, yes, this is a brand new channel that I've done. Started, um, my other one, my kids kind of took over it and was adding all kind of stuff to it and everything. And I was just, you know, I just wanted to go ahead and make a new one. So, um, what I'm starting with, I have several projects that I've been working on. Um, I ended up having to get me a new camera, so that's why it's taking so long to get videos. But I've been making stuff in between besides working. And I work at, um, a lot of places don't have them, but I work at Waffle House as a server. I'm, I'm down to three days now. Um, trying to decide if I want to stay still or not. Um, or if I want to proceed with my business. Um, but anyways, I wanna sh I'm going to go ahead and show you some of these projects that I've done. Um, I'm going to do them in separate videos. I'm not going to keep them all. I'm not going to do one long video. Um, don't want to bore you to death <laughs> like I'm already starting to do. But anyways, um, I've gotten to where I like making paper bag mini albums. And this is my very first one that I've made. And it's a seashell one. And down here, I have this blue flower. These are um, the spare parts flowers that you can get from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love their little flowers that you get. These are the mulberry flowers that I've got from um, Craft Supplies 1. I got these from Craft Supplies 1. I added some little shell, real shells in here. Um, tuck some spray in behind here. There it is. I can see that. There's a piece of um, hot glue string in there. <laughs> Don't you just love when you go to do stuff like this and you start finding stuff like that? Yeah. <laughs> and then, these are just, I uh, don't know if you can see the sparkle on it or not. But, um, some little flourishes, 3D um, flourishes that I just picked up at Walmart. The sticker aisle. Sticker aisle. Um, I embossed this here with the anchor. And then, <clears throat> just this seashell paper bag. The paper pad I used, oh, I had it sitting up here forever. There it is. It's like, I have no paper left in this. <laughs> I have nothing but scraps left. It's by Prima. Let me set this off to the side for a minute. But it's this seashore paper pad, and, like, literally, that's just all scraps. I have, I have a few pieces left, but, yeah. <laughs> so, I'll figure out something to do with that. <laughs> okay. So, anywho... And then on here, I found a new little idea. It's one of these chandelier necklace pendants that you can attach different beads and stuff like with that. Um, so I've added some charms to it. I got an anchor, a shell, a seahorse, another shell, and then in my opinion, it's supposed to be a lighthouse, but in my opinion, that looks like a windmill. <laughs> my husband said the same thing. It's a wind it looks like a windmill, but it's supposed to be a lighthouse. And I got these at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it's two different packs actually. Um Yeah, I didn't yeah, I just got I got the lobster left on here. I didn't want to put the lobster on there. But this one is the sea creatures charms. And then, the nautical charms. And, me, I get a lot of stuff from Hobby Lobby when I hit up their sales. Like, I, was, I have the app for it. And, yeah. My husband says I have a baby Hobby Lobby at home, because I love Hobby Lobby. It's like my number one store. And we just got ours, um... In the last year, I think it was maybe beginning of this year. No, it, it was in the last year because it was right before I started my job. Um, so yeah, we haven't had Hobby Lobby too too long. Um, maybe six months. I don't know. But anyway, um, so yeah, I have the app, so I go in there and I keep up on what's on sale, and I go hit up all the sales and everything. Hey, why not? You know, like that, three ninety nine for this. You know. It's six piece here, three nine, but you get that half off. Yeah, who wouldn't, you know? But anywho, so I took some of this thin ribbon here, this thin ribbon here, and I also took this pretty lace, this or trim. This come from Hobby Lobby also. 
I head up there when they're like ribbon by the spool is on sale. Yeah, I go hit up it because it's like a dollar a day for a whole thing. So yeah. Then I did some little mulberry flowers here or paper flowers. And then these right here are some more um spare parts flowers. Oh focus. Yeah, there's some more spare part flowers. And I took some more of these little roses in here. Um the idea to make this I forgot I will put down in the link or actually, I'll add it to who I got this I, this kind of binding from. Because um, I can't remember right offhand who I got this binding from. Binding idea from. But if you can see, right back here, it's with thread. And there's little notches you put your thread in. That way it can move freely. And I honestly, I like this idea. If I could find a way to cover that, I probably will try in my next one I make. Because I just, I don't know about that look yet. So let's get into the inside. So you see how I've wrapped this trim around here. Well, what I did is that's why I put that flower there. Is because that's where the trim meets. And I wrapped it around here. And right here is loose. So you can tuck photos or whatever in. And then this is just a plain page, layout page. With some um, gem flowers. Again, paper seed, or yeah, no spare parts or paper studio. No, it's the gemstones. Uh, yeah, gemstones by Paper Studio. Um, so they're on each corner, and there's a lighthouse there. And then each page has pull-out tags, and it's just mats. Like this one's blank. You can do journaling on it, or um, place a photo. You can put a photo on this one too. Sorry for my lighting, guys. It's like getting dark. And I'm trying, I've been trying to do so much at one time all day today. So here's where, and the paper bags that I use, let me get them real quick. Um, that's my brown drawer. It, the stacks and things, this one here. My paper studio. Again, yes, I got them half off. I think $2.99, you get them half off. Yeah, and you get a total of 16 of them, so you can get several many of them out of that. But it's the three and a half by two. Yeah, so that's the size that I used for this. So here's a little pocket, and these are the little these are little tags, little cutouts that come with the paper pad. I just tuck three of those down in here. And there's room, you know, you can add a photo onto this part, or you can tuck more photos or whatever back in there. You can add some journaling or a photo here. I ran some pearls here. Then this side is a mat. Again, tags. Yeah, this side has a tag. This has got seashells on it, and the other side's blank, like the other ones. And then this one. I hope you can see that. And you flip it, and there's another, and this one, you pull this out, <coughs> and it's a little trifold book. Sorry, you can't see that. I'm, I'm going to get better, like, filming area and stuff. And you got this one. And it just folds on back up, and you just tuck it in there, it's a little booklet. So, yeah, and then I'll use some little aqua dots. These come from, um, what I have left over from Close to My Heart nice to sell for them. Um, I used to be with Stampin' Up, but I'm kind of putting that on hold right now to get some other things going first. <clears throat> and then this is just a plain mat. I did tie some more ribbon here and added, I clipped, this is a charm, I clipped the little loop part here off and just stuck it on there. And then the tags for these. It's got some writing and it's just blank. Just slide it back in there. Yeah, this little put this thing luckily I'm keeping this. This is junked up. I gotta get me a new um round punch. I think my kids tore it up honestly. And then this luckily all my stuff right now is in my bedroom. But that's all I'm gonna have to change here in a few months. I'll explain that another day. And then this is the same lighthouse that was on the first page. And then I tuck some more tags in here. There's some more little flowers. 
and then over here that's come out of the nautical um I just again cut the loops off of here and glued it on here and then these tags I show that tag yeah I showed that tag this tag so yeah I really really enjoyed making this then here these almost you know pretty much replicate each other and you got this one here and this one here I'll show you just pull this out and you get a little trifold so Oh, it down. So yeah, and all I did is I used the um, Stampin' Up um, envelope punch, and like I used the corner around it here, and then I used it backwards and punched it here. I'm sorry, I just hit the camera. And then here, and then I just ran around like I got more aqua dots here, and then I ran some around here. And then I used some teardrop trim here that I got from Hobby Lobby. And another pocket with some tags. And this is what I want to show you. See, this is another. There's the back. I didn't add any extra on here. But you can stick some um, photos in here. But so, see, here's the back. There's the front. So the back, well, there's a tag there. So it don't replicate it. But. <laughs> Um, but here's got the book, and then the second page up here. Uh, okay, never mind. Screw that. <laughs> Anyways, I thought they, well, for the most part, they kind of replicate each other. I did it, you know. So, yeah, this was my very first paper bag mini album, and I really, really am happy with it and impressed with it. A lot of things I keep the first of that I make. Unless it's an actual, you know, re like, requested project or item or whatever. I don't keep it, of course. But every new thing that I try, every new technique I try, I um, like to keep it. So, if you like this, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Um, please subscribe. Again, I've been on YouTube a while, but this is my newest channel, so I'm trying to get a bunch of videos on there. So, yeah. Alright, I will see you guys later. Bye.